There are probably utility poles near your home. These poles support different types of wires. To avoid accidents, you need to know how to identify dangerous wires before climbing a tree, before handling a ladder or scaffold, before using a bucket lift, a pole, or pruners, before playing with a kite. Your safety and the safety of your neighbors is at stake. Let's have a closer look. Let's start with the wires closest to the ground. There can be one or many thick cables with a black insulating sheath. These are telecommunications wires that don't belong to Hydro-Quebec. They belong to telephone or cable companies. They are the least dangerous since their supply voltage is at most 12 volts. Still, nothing must be placed against these wires or cause them to deviate. A little higher are the low voltage lines. Be careful, low voltage does not mean they are safe. These are the lines that supply electricity to homes and businesses. The current that runs through these wires can cause serious accidents. There are two possible configurations for low voltage lines. Two wires protected by insulated sheets and twisted around a bare metal wire as shown here or three wires protected by insulated sheets and lined up above one another. Avoid all contact with these wires, even if they have an insulated sheath, since these sheaths can be damaged. And if they don't have a sheath, you must never approach them nor bring anything within three meters of them. Generally speaking, the higher the wire, the more dangerous it is. The top of the pole is where medium voltage lines are found. These are thin metal wires that don't have an insulated sheath. They are attached to porcelain insulators. Though they might look harmless, these wires are extremely dangerous. Several configurations are possible. The most common are a group of three wires like this. Or a single wire that may seem innocuous, but is just as dangerous. In fact, it can be deadly. No person, tool, or construction material should come within three meters of a median voltage line. Your safety and the safety of your neighbors is at stake.